Okay, so this week for our Specsavers Power Rankings, we're going back to day one to see if Owen Sheehan's initial rankings have held up in any way at all. Where are we starting? Power Rankings, OTB AM. When was this? Was this back in, back in, when was this? This is the very initial ones at the very start of the championship. New York 33, Antrim 32, London 31, Wexford 30, Leitrim 29, Sligo 28, Wicklow 27, Waterford 26, Limerick 25. That's what it was. <coughs> what, what does it look like now? I'm not, was that the very first power rank? I thought I had Limerick down much lower at the very first power rankings because then remember Limerick went out and beat Tipperary and then I had to bump Limerick up to around 25. I think I had Limerick down much lower than that. If we move on to the next page, I've got a feeling we're going to have Tip next. Yeah, Tip 24. This is, I think, week two. Uh, Carlo, just ahead of them at 23. Longford, 22. Offaly, 21. Derry, 20. Laos, 19. Down, 18. And Cork, 17. <sighs> Cork, 17. Yeah, I think even at that point, there was even questions about Cork at 17. I like the, about the fact that they were too high at 17, that they were no better than Down or Derry or loud when, in actual fact, it was pretty clear that they were on the way forward. But this was before Cork had kicked the ball, because uh, this was on the back of them getting relegated to Division 3. Yeah, I mean, they deserved, they deserved to be pretty low at that stage. I, I think so, and I think 17 was, was about right. Like elsewhere in this, this was after, of course, Tipperary got beaten. I probably would have had Tipperary up around 21-20, maybe, on week one, and then they dropped a couple of places after getting beaten by Limerick, and it was the, the start of a bad, bad summer for them. Carlo as well, up at 23 Probably a little bit high at that point, was it? Mm. Given the given the season that they had, granted they had a, a bad suspension in the middle of the summer as well, so it was probably off the mark there. Um, we might roll it on to page two. Gone for Clare at sixteen, which was probably too low in the end. Clare really, if, if I was being completely predictive, would have been ahead of Westmead, Leash, and Kildare really, and yeah ahead of those three counties for sure because they ended up having a very good season they ended up getting beaten by Meath in the last 12 in round 4 with the qualifiers so they deserve to be higher than 16 so I got that one wrong I think with regards to the rest of them Armagh, sorry, Kildare 13, Armagh 12, Kavanagh 11 Yeah, for Manor were too high then at number 9 really when you look at this season as a whole Meath at 10 Meath at 10 and they kind of stuck static there for pretty much the entire year Moves up to 8 come the end 8 or 7 come the end of the year. So I mean, there's a massive difference because, because of the way the season is laid out between eight and nine. Like, that's a whole tier. How's so it a whole tier? Like the difference Because there's a super and eight, and those are the eight best teams, and then your nine and ten teams didn't make it, and they had a crap that's year. Not, that's and just they, not they true. Get no, they get no football in, that's just not true. in July. You're saying that the super eights has a is massive it, goal a between... No, it's not. In, in terms of no, outcome. It's absolutely not. I mean, it is. Like, okay, so... You don't start the year saying, oh, jeez, I'd love to be in the top ten in the country, or, jeez, I really hope I make the top nine. It's like, we're going to get to the Super 8s this year, that's what's going to happen to us, it's going to allow us to catapult ourselves forward in our football culture. I thought you just said Cork were probably all right at number 17. They made the Super 8s. At the start of the year. Yeah. I think that's where, after the league... Any Cork team in the top deserve. 20, as far as I'm concerned, can make the Super 8s. But let's move on, let's go on. Come on, come on, keep going. At number eight, yeah, I'd gone for Ross Common. Donny Galway at seven, bit low. Way too low. Galway at 6, Monaghan at high. 5, Tyrone at 4, Kerry at 3, Mayo Monaghan at 2, and Dublin at 1. Uh, so I got the semi-finalists correct at least. Top 4 ended up being the last 4. Monaghan were too high, Monaghan obviously had a very bad season. Uh, Galway, very bad season as well. Donegal definitely better than Galway and Monaghan. They should have been higher than them. If I'd been trusting my gut when I made these, I would have put Donegal ahead of Galway and Monaghan. Could you, uh, like, I, are Donegal uh, not ahead of Tyrone, really, as it stands? Would you not much rather be a Donegal fan heading into next year than a Tyrone fan? Yes, I would, but that doesn't mean that they're right now a better team than them. Tyrone overall had a better season than Donegal. Granted, they were beaten by Donegal. Yeah, I don't know. I mean... Tyrone have had a season where it has been established firmly that their management are out of ideas when it comes to the challenges that modern football throws at them. Donegal were absolutely destroyed by injuries to key players at various stages and that prevented them from showing their full hand. So I'm saying Donegal are ahead of, for me, in my power rankings, Dublin are number one, Kerry are number two. I'd say Donegal are probably three at this stage and we'll see what form Mayo come back in. After that, it's probably... Mayo for and then I don't know you can you can throw a blanket over them yeah exactly but that that's my exact point about your super eights notion well, I like mean that can, was two you, minutes ago and we moved on but like you can throw a blanket over everybody 
outside of the top three, maybe. Certainly outside of Dublin, you can almost uh, throw a blanket over them. That's uh, this week's Specsavers power rankings. We'll get to update them finally for one final time uh, next week. There are a bunch of other power rankings that we want to bring your way. If anybody has any ideas that you'd like to see us uh, power rank, then you can just get in touch with us. Uh, info at offtheball.com is an email address that we've uh, rescued just recently, so if you want to get in touch with us by uh, email, you can do that. Uh, alternatively, you can just tweet us at offtheballam. Now, 